what a morning we got going here. What the heck's going on? What a morning, what an evening. I mean, we <laughs> rode in four hours of rain yesterday just to get here to ride in more rain. Right, so it's, it looks like it's gonna be raining all day, but we are with Matt Laidlaw. We are in Tucson, Arizona. We're gonna go to uh, Tombstone, Bisbee, Jerome, through Pace, and we got a whole day planned. Yeah, and it looks like we may have rain all day long. I don't know what you guys brought with you from uh, Laidlaw's, but hey. You know, we brought our rain gear, so we're semi-prepared, but we're just going to make the best of it. Last trip we rode, we rode in the rain, so this is going to be about the same, but we got better company this time, so there's, that's one positive. You know, it's weird. It's like this uh, no rain, lack of moisture. In the last two trips you and I have taken, we've been in the snow, we've been in the rain. What's going on? Yeah, here? we got snowed out in Minneapolis, <laughs> had to drive up into Milwaukee, but... You guys left at like 3 yesterday, right? What time did you roll in? Yeah, we left at 3. We rolled in here with the time change about 1.30. So, yeah, definitely a late light for us. Zero visibility going down the 10 freeway with the rain and just the fact that it was pitch black outside. Well, well I mean, we've come together. We're going to do a great thing. We got Laid Law. We got Two Lane Life. And we're going to have some fun. Let's get this party started. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. So it's raining, you're hiding at the, in the stairwell. You said you were really warm. What's going on? Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I got some wool on, I've got down jacket, I've got bibs on. I mean, if I'm cold, we should just be worried for my health. So are we gonna find you a bolt for your uh, floorboard or what? That'd be cool, yeah. yeah. It kinda like, you know, fell off yesterday at some point. Well, well let's fix it. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Are you guys ready for this? Been born ready. Hey, talk to us about that ride in last night. Oh, it was a lot of fun. You know, it was pitch black, lots of rain, uh, interesting <laughs> things being towed with no lights behind them. Yeah, I think oh. the state of Arizona, it's okay to flat tow a car with another car. With another car, and no lights on it. Yeah, yeah, you know, just throw much, your hazards on and you're good. As much as California's a nanny state, you know, yeah. that was kind of scary. <laughs> Give us your name. Andrew. Give us your Late name. Uh, Nick. Uh, Eric. Eric. Brandon. And we got Shannon. And, the and Matt. Matt. The Matt, Matt. We're gonna wet. we're gonna get wet. Let's go to business. Get wet. Tuxen Hotel in Tucson. We're out a little bit late, 9.03. We're gonna make our way down to Bisbee. What do you think about this weather, LC? I mean, yesterday, three hours in the rain in the dark. Now this morning, we wake up and we get greeted with more rain and uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna let up, but I do think later today it will. Well, I sure hope so. Headed up to Payson a little bit later and then on to Jerome. It did look like it was going to be rain enough in pace in this afternoon, but maybe we'll get there early enough that uh, we'll miss that. That would be great. That would be great. Well, let's make our way uh, down into Sonita, and then we'll cut across into Bisbee, maybe grab some breakfast at the Breakfast Club. Yeah, you know, these journeys like this, you never know what's going to happen, and then right now we're in the uh, unexpected, and we, we did kind of expect it, but it's not always the greatest thing. I don't think we expected this. All right, there we go, the unexpected. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, we'll see you down the road. Down that road. Your boy didn't set up a helmet cam, but hey, here we are. Hey. What a ride in, it's wet. We're, everyone's doing good though. We're getting some fuel, we're heading into Bisbee. Uh, you know, hey. The raid is coming down a little bit, but uh, you know, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? How you feeling? Uh, I feel good. I just had to catch up with you guys for like 100 miles per hour for like a mile. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Mickey. Hey man, my boots are soaked. How you doing? My boots are also soaked. 
Oh, hey. What's the business? Uh, the business is the business is wet. That's the business. And and I'm hungry. If the rain wasn't here, I would enjoy myself a little bit better. But you know what? The scenery that 83 was amazing. Isn't it man. beautiful? Good call on that. Yeah. Yeah. It's usually when it's dry, you can just kind of work it. Yeah. Well, that was beautiful. I was not expecting that. It was awesome. But you're so tall, you're getting a lot more rain on you than we are. <laughs> I just have to slouch. So I'm see, you know? <laughs> Will you be joining us on a ride again? Absolutely. Why would I not? This is awesome. I'm, I'm actually loving it. I'm actually loving it. Oh. There you have it, folks. How's this rain treat you? Uh, it's a little wet. A little yeah. wet, but you know, we're riding bikes and having fun. That's right. the Bisbee Tunnel. I don't know if it's called the Bisbee Tunnel, but we're definitely in a tunnel before Bisbee. Right, right. Well, we'll have to figure out the name of that, and I think we're going to see the town here in a little bit. Well, we're entering. There's a sign. You know, it's amazing. The, the rain was gnarly. It's kind of mellowed out right here for us. Just a hair. Yeah, we're going to go to the Bisbee Breakfast Club right now, aren't we? And that's outside of the town. Well, it's still part of the town. It's just not in the that main area where all the homes are and the hotels and stuff. Right, right. I mean, is it old town or is it just still part of the town and just away a couple blocks away? I don't know if it's old town, but it's been revitalized. There's a gentleman that put a bunch of money into it. The, the whole little main street's pretty darn cool. Yeah, I remember the first time we rolled in here and saw this town, it was like Oh man, it was really a sight to see. Well, if you look off to the left, I don't know if our viewers will be able to see it, but it's it's pretty cool down in there. Yep. The whole town is built into the side of this mountain. It's a copper mining town, and we're going to go buy a big copper hole up here in a little bit. Apparently, there's a bunch of tunnels under this town as well. They said if an earthquake came, it might be in trouble. And they say this town is haunted like most uh, mining old towns are. And they do night tours in this town where they bring people through and they go looking for ghosts. Sure do. And we've been here where a, a guy was rolling around a baby grand piano on Main Street and playing it. Right? That was kind of cool. Uh, this is a great little town to come and visit. If, you, if you're ever on the road to Tombstone, get down here and check it out. Look at that. Pretty cool. So let's get over and find that breakfast spot. Yes. Bixby Breakfast Club. See you down the road. See you down the road. I mean, we've done a lot of different rides. This is a pretty crazy one. We got a lot of people. We got some really funky weather, but we're dealing with it. Everyone seems to be doing great. Well, we even have people. Uh, their names are like riding with yogurt. Like, <laughs> Should have let that guy go with you. I mean, he's got these bright yellow lights. He's just. Putting it in our rear view mirror, it's hard to see. Yeah, no respect, that guy has no respect. No respect. You guys like that ride in? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was a wet one, but you know, it was, it was cool. The scene is awesome, you know, coming over the hill, going through the tunnel and seeing Bisbee on the left, like that was awesome, first time here. So really cool Western vibe for sure. And we, that's why we're here with the Western right. vibe, you know, we're hanging yeah, out. We're we got, you know, extra cowboy hats always makes for a good time, you know. Right on. Yeah, and out behind Josh is the big mine. This was a newer part of town that a guy's come in and revitalized. But we'll run up through the town of Bisbee uh, and check that out. There's some really cool things up there to look at and see. Well, I, I always was waiting and I said, I wonder what Matt's going to think when he comes over the hill and actually sees that town over there. What'd you think? Yeah, it was awesome. I couldn't pull out my GoPro quick enough. I was, you know, fidgeting and I think I got a couple good shots, but um, yeah, it's a really cool Western vibe. You know, it's definitely one of those towns that have been, that's been captured in time. So good vibe. We got the little Harleys in the background here. You guys know the good spots to the film don't you we've don't been you? To, we've been through here probably what 10 times i don't know yeah probably 10 and we went through five and didn't know it was here and then someone took us here and it was like wow you know so you always learn so we'll also run up to tombstone after breakfast uh which is about 20 miles from here and we'll walk the streets go to the ok corral nice. i don't know how it's going to be with the rain but we don't care uh, are we gonna have a shootout <laughs> or what we can we yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good times had by all. Boom. Oh. More syrup? Right. Oh. Dude. <laughs> he just threw some more syrup on that thing. 
Hey, we finally got breakfast. We're chilling. The food has came like eggs, bacon. I'm kind of stoked to eat this. It's what, 11? It's actually 11.55. We're supposed <laughs> to be in Jerome tonight. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. No, it's going to happen. We're going to get I don't there. know. <laughs> uh, we got to get to Tombstone next, right? And uh, maybe we'll have a little shootout there at the OK Corral. Hey, well, you know what's really cool? We are actually breaking bread with uh, Team Laidlaw. This is kind of awesome. We have our food. They don't. A couple guys do, and we're, well, we're going to eat anyway. There's a fine choice right there that I'm seeing. It's got a couple, little short stack, but doesn't <laughs> look too little to me. Uh, Andrew wanted three sausage, but they gave him four. Now he wanted four. Yes, I'm going to eat that. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm, I'm pretty hungry. Come I'm on in. Not here yet, Grab so. it. Here, here's a hockey puck for you. <laughs> I'll share with you. <laughs> All right, well, let's do this. Camera yes. eats first. We're eating now. Well, we just about got hit, so that was cool. <laughs> that was kind of scary, but hey, what the hell? Yeah, we had uh, great breakfast here at the Bisbee Breakfast Club. We're going to run the guys up through Bisbee, the town, and uh, show you some of that. Some cool structures built into the side of the hill. Make sure you take a look to the left as we head up there with that mine you know, down in the bottom there. It's a pretty cool view. Awesome, man. Yeah, can't wait. Breakfast is good, by the way. Good recommendation, guys. We're, we're loving this tour. Thanks for being our tour guides, guys. Hey, we're doing we're touring together, and that's what's awesome. And, and I love this little town. It's great to be here with these guys. I mean, we're kind of like on a speed mission. We're going to go through the town of Bisbee, and then we're going to head to Tombstone and show you some more cool stuff. Yeah, the only thing is uh, it's 12 o'clock, 1230, and we've only gone 50, 82 miles today. <laughs> yeah, we got so some ground to make up. Bro. We got to get rolling here. It's going to get cold and dark. Get right? into Tombstone and have a nice time there as well. Can't wait for you guys to see that. Let's do it. Yeah, big dog. We just made it to Tombstone, and okay. Danielle is doing the right thing. Yeah, right? she's taking pictures. Taking a picture. Eric's over there. Where are we at, sir? We're in Tombstone with Harley Davidson. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Legend has it, this was Doc Holliday's personal bike. I believe it to be true. All right, first time seeing a Tombstone. Dude, this is cool, man. I feel like I'm like walking through a Western film right now. I forgot my six shooter though, so I'm a little bit worried. We got you covered. I'm gonna go catch a ride. I'll be right back. Well, we're here, uh, the Oriental Palace here, the Crystal Palace, uh, the Longhorn. I think we had our gunfight right here. here. Right. Um, you'll have to go back and look at that one. We also brought Rob here at one point. We did. We yeah. did. Now we got Laidlaw and his group here. That's right. Checking out the old west. Well, let's go show them the OK Corral. All right. Oh, we ended up in an establishment of drinks. How about that? I think we need a beer. Yep. Yep, yep. Can you hear that rain? Can you see that rain? We're trying to decide whether we have a plan B here or not. Uh, it's about nine hours up into Jerome, but Maybe we go to Payson and hang out for a bit. Maybe we hang out here for a bit and let this kind of mellow out a little bit. Yeah, who planned this trip? I think it was Tulane that, that planned it. It wasn't me. These guys are always booked, you know, like they're doing all kinds of gigs all over the country, so it's hard well, to... I gotta say this though, everything we do and everywhere we've been for the last couple of years has been fate. So for some reason, this is happening and we'll find out. It's gonna be good, I hope. And what's your take on fate? and taking the route that's five hours longer to also be in the range. Like a party mountain. Uh, you know, embrace the suck, I guess. I like that. Wise words. Okay. What do you want to tell the people? Get on the ride, guys. Look at the weather. It's perfect. I'm with people I don't even know. And I'm far away from home, and I'm happy. You're at it. 
Yo, what's happening? It's raining in Tombstone, man. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Uh, I like this drum. So we're here at Fly's Boarding House. This is where I used to sit. And there was a famous person that stayed here, Doc Holliday. And rumor has it, uh, he was here with Big Nose Kate. And she was looking down on the house when people came in and started shooting up the family's home. Right, right. Yeah, well, you know, I think they did photography here as well, and this is when they had the shootout outside. Bullets were coming in here as well. And there was, I don't know who was in here, but there were people in here. There were. Yes, there were, and they were freaking hit. <laughs> well, as you go through this place, you're gonna see a lot of, you know, history around the, the Mexican earthquake, the Apache Scouts, Geronimo surrenders, you got a picture of Big Nose Cave here. And this room, we'll get a shot of it, was kind of a period room that they made up to look like the room yes. he was in. Yes, he spent a lot of time here as well. He did. Joined by Wyatt's good friend, Doc Holliday, on the law of the struggle for political and economic control. Yet again, another gas station stop, eating a very bad chicken sandwich. What's up, boys? Pepperoni and mozzarella roll. Cliff Bar, smart water. You know, I have more water because we've been in the rain so much. I just want more water. I've been pouring it on me. <laughs> Is that for later? It's for later. Um, yeah. It's a little cold out here. It may take just a little nip before we get on the road. <laughs> just a little one, just to warm up. Look, uh, Eric's back. There he is. Where'd Eric go? My bolt may have fallen out of the mount for my floorboard, so yeah. Eric needs to save the day. Yeah. Yo, we're headed out to hit Jerome. That's our last spot of the night. It's about 170 miles away. Hopefully we'll get there before the dinner time closes. I've been running so long. got a, a complaint uh, filed. Lance Corey Sr. said that we drove 17 miles off an exit to get gas. When you get gas and you're traveling, you find an easy on, easy off. Not a left turn on a major thoroughway that then you got to go five lights down the freeway and then over here, you know. Can I? It was it was one light. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Josh? Yeah. Is it 15 lights or was it one? Well, it was one, but if you think about it, yeah, it was, it was one light. It's one light. Yeah. But uh, how far out are we? 100 miles. We got 100 miles left. It is. I don't know what time it is because my phone's dead, and I'm having a good time with my friends. I think we just consumed it too fast. I think yeah. we didn't have a chance. Well, I had a nice couple hamburgers and French fries. I don't know if you can see it, but wow. you can't see it. You know. Really good stuff. Can't go wrong with it and out. <laughs> What's next? 100 miles. Then we're there. Ghost town. Jerome. Well, we got the elevator, see, you gotta put that key in, and then once you press the floor, it's supposed to go. Nice. How about that? <laughs> this thing, I think, was built in like 1929, but it was actually a, originally a hospital. So I think we might get a little scare factor to us tonight. Wow, what a crazy day. So much rain. We've ridden the there was more rain than we have been in in the last two days and probably the last year. Yeah, I mean, it was last night, it's all day today. We only had about two and a half hours of non-rain riding right. in a full day. So, hey, we just plugged in the elevator. We're running up the, to the fourth floor. Heard some uh, ghost stories down in the lobby, but we'll see what happens. We'll let you know in the morning how it goes. Um, well, we all are sleeping in these separate rooms and which one of us is gonna... I don't know. What do I mean, they need to do? Should we not stay here tonight? 
Do you want to sleep on the floor? I don't know. I mean, there's there's ghosts here, right? No, I don't think so. There could be. But hey, I hope Matt and your crew had a great time today with us in the rain. Subscribe. What else? Yeah, subscribe to our YouTube channel. There you go. We'll Stay see tuned. you tomorrow morning.